Well, it's Christmas time again. True Tech Tools. Let's uh, see what my latest addition to my uh, True Tech Tools uh, bonanza here. Okay. So as you can see, I still haven't done any of my other projects. I've been too busy. As you can see, the knobs, the valves have not been changed. They're still sitting there. Nothing has been getting done because of how busy everything is. And um, let's see, what do we got here? Jolly, tool catalog. I don't need that. Stuff in there. They definitely do a good job of uh, making sure. And what do we have here? We got the Stratus. Okay, so. In my ever endeavor of finding something that works at R410, because we know R22 is easy, R12 is easy, R134 is pretty easy to find with your H10 leak detector. And uh, I've owned many Infracons before, but they all keep breaking. That was one of the problems with the Infracon. Me and my two brothers and my uncle, we've they have a good unit. The, the one that's kind of like this model and down, it's a good unit, but we're kind of brutal and we use them a lot. And I guess they are not meant to be used a lot. I don't, I don't know what the deal is up with that. But for some reason, they kept breaking. The batteries kept going out on them. The units kept breaking. I, I've actually owned six of them. I've probably invested like three grand or more in their lower line of this. So what do we get with our Infracon? Well, we always have... God damn, this manual feels like it's lined with lead. That's a uh, dense paper there. Okay, so we got the manual. And I, probably on this one, I probably will read through it because it's probably not that logical. We have tips of some sort. I will have to read. And they have small holes in them. I'm going to be reading the manual. We have two different... Oh, we have an extender wand, so we could go farther. So it looks like uh, we have a, a much extended wand, flexi, gooseneck. Of course, uh, your USB charger, so you could charge it up in the car. Your little earpiece, so you can put them in your ears if you're noise in a noisy environment or somebody doesn't want to hear you because you're in an office space or something like that. And here's our USB cord, so you could charge it in your car. And this looks like... The charger, big charger, old charger. Yep, your universal adapter plate, because it probably could be used in Europe too. And don't know what country that is. Two angled. Oh, there's a Europe Europe one. It's a European one. So they just bought a, a universal charger from a company and it just goes shipped everywhere. And then here's your uh, actual muscle. This is your charger right there. USB. And here's one of your European doohickeys. All right, so that's that. And here is Infernus Stratus. So... That looks like an on button right there. That's it. I can hear that sucker pumping. Hey, do I get a latte or a coffee? Is that decaf? Okay, so it's two smokes and a coffee break while it's on the vacuum pump. And then it's ready to blow and go. So this is our infamous D-Tech. So what I'm trying to look for is not only something better for R410, which there's been many tests out on this and there's people debating whether it is or is not better than the H10. There's a lot of is nots. But one feature it does have is walking around with that parts per million. So what I'm trying to do is find a leak detector that's better than all the rest at getting you close to the area. And even if this one doesn't pinpoint then you break out the h10 and uh pinpoint it with the h10 and somebody would say why do you want to spend almost a thousand dollars on a leak detector and then go out and get the h10 to zero in on it 
possibly finding it better for another $600 because when you want to provide your customer with the best service that's what you do you don't buy those cheap little uh, toys that are sold on some of the tool trucks that they slap an extra hundred dollars onto a tool just because they put their sticker on it and make it their color so ah there we go now the only thing I want to knock DTEC for is they don't give you a calibration bottle that kind of sucks so four parts per million and inside this room Actually, I, I should calibrate this outside, out in the middle of the street or something like that. Because I do have some aerosol cans inside here. And I have about 15 jugs of refrigerant sitting right on the other side of this wall of uh, recycle containers. And um, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some refrigerant leaking through that wall. Or, you know, background stuff. So you guys will see me using this on some of my next videos and we'll see how um, sensitive this is YF refrigerant R1234YF that is the reason I'm getting this I'm trying to find something really good at YF refrigerant okay here's your okay so earpiece all right that's it for this short video you know what's going to be being used comparing it to the H10 and still the H10 reigns king overall. That's it for that. Alright, see you guys. Bye. We got the Stratus.